Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the Silhouette template. To find this template, open the Effect House, go to the Template tab, and if you look in the Recommended or Screen uh, tab, you can find the Silhouette template. I'm going to click on it to open the template, and we're going to wait a couple seconds. Now you can see this template is loaded. So what is this template? So this template in general show you how to use material graph with uh, normal texture and segmentation texture and also depth texture that is provided in the effect house. So um, I'm gonna, uh, this template has three different examples that we can see. This, the first one is a line effect template. And then if you go to the next example, this one is using the depth to understand uh, where the user is and apply this gradient to the uh, screen. And the last one is a hologram effect that applies a hologram only to the user and distort the lines based on the body is normal. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize each of these and how in general each of these example works. So I'm going to open the line effect. You can see we have a camera and the image that it's drawing uh, this material, this custom material called line under line mat. If we double click on it, it should open the window, uh, material editor window that you can see in here. If you don't see it, just double click on this. And then you see all these uh, nodes here, as well as all these customizable on the right side. So in this video, I'm mostly going to talk about like how to customize it. But if you want to learn more about any of these material and example, you can double click on it and see how these examples are made. Uh, so you can see each part is a commented so you can have easier time to understand what is happening in here. But we're just going to make it really easy here. Let's customize this to the way that we want. Cool. So the first thing is line length. So this is a, a length of the line. So you, you can just like make it really tiny. So this is kind of look like a disco light uh, that is appearing on the user. And there is a another section that you can say, like, how many line do you need? So you can say, for example, say 20. And there is another slider to make this easier for you to make it one line or just like make it tinier. So these two kind of like works together uh, to create this look. So I'm going to bring it back, for example, to 100 and keep it like that. That's that's kind of cool. And the next one is a distortion amount. So this distortion amount is using the normal texture. So this normal texture is a texture that it lives in the effect house. To import it, you can use the asset menu, click plus, and you can go to the texture. You can see uh, there is a portrait normal texture. This is a texture that uh, gets the normal of the user. So if you want to really see it really quick, I can really show it to you now and see how it works. Uh, so I'm going to use that image to show you how the uh, texture by itself looks like. Uh, so uh, where is that normal? I'm going to click here and select the portrait normal. So. Uh, if I turn off the post and turn off everything, you can see how the normal looks like. So this is the texture and we get this texture and use material graph uh, to actually uh, distort these lines on the user's body. So but you can just like add more distortion. And now when the line come, it's going to distort and much more and then passes the user. So, yeah, we saw how cool is that. And then the next one is the speed. So you can make it faster. So the line now moves faster. Or if you want to get the other direction, you can just apply the negative value in here. And next one is a background control. So right now we're just like darkening the background. 
but uh, uh, like the particle on the background you can see now it's black and the more I add it just have the same color as it's on the body and I'm gonna put it like here and this one is a background visibility if you want to have uh, see the user more and definitely feel free to uh, turn off the post effect or add your own post effect that you want cool yeah this was the uh, stuff that you can customize in the line effect let's go to another one let's go to the infrared depth effect so you can see this one is using the depth material so i'm gonna select the second since this is a second example i'm gonna select the second uh, material in here and you can see there are some customization in here so you can see there is a ramp texture so you can see uh we have the ramp so you can see in here i have a color from yellow going to the purple dark purple here you can use any image editing tool that you have to customize this to uh to your need like you can uh change the color to like for example start from green and go to blue and then you can see it applies in here uh so I'm gonna turn on the post effect so you can see it more like infrared. And then another uh, control in here is opacity. So this one is really simple. Like you can see how does it work. And then if you double click on it, it's gonna open it in the material editor and you can see how simple it is to create this kind of effect. So now you have it. And also another tip in here. So we have an, uh, a post effect here feel free to add more stuff to here like for example i don't know what i'm gonna add in here but there is lots of control that you can do in here or if you don't wanna you can add for example filter in here uh i'm gonna actually search for filter and now we have a filter here i'm gonna bring it down and for example if you uh don't like the color that we have you can just like change the tint change the temperature you can increase saturation decrease saturation so you can see how much control that you already have within the template that you can create the cool looking stuff so so yeah uh feel free to play around with all these value i think you're gonna get so much cool looking stuff with just like this stuff that is already in the effect house so i'm gonna delete it for now and uh i'm gonna turn off the post effect maybe keep it on and oh okay and the last one the hologram so i'm gonna close this and try to be clean as possible and I'm gonna open the hologram effect so the hologram effect so as you can see uh, the hologram effect same thing double click you can see it in the material editor if you want to learn more you can open it double click on the subgraph you can learn more and then let's customize it in here let's say so I want the user color to be more like a purple color yeah why not the uh it's kind of cool like the uh the line color actually i'm customizing line so the line amount is 400 this is same as kind of like the first example line effect so i'm gonna go 400 yeah make more make those lines more appear and contrast so if you put one you can see there is lots of line on the user the more contrast that you have you see less color and the brightness you can have that i don't want to have that much of brightness so i can see the user and then now what color should it be applied to user you can for example say let's make a user yellow add yellow tint to the user and then around the you can see around the user there is some like a uh, dark pink blue a uh, pink color so you can change that also to be for example red i don't know just like playing around with these colors it's it's fun actually cool
I'm getting really abstract with you right now, but yeah, you can also uh, apply like how much of the user you want to see them. Um, you can reduce it, only see the lines on the user. I kind of like this. And the, this one again, distortion amount, no distortion, more distortion in here. Uh, yeah, this is getting very abstract looking. And then the speed of the line that is moving. So you can have it not move at all. So this is kind of like a, I feel like this is kind of like a, a liquid on the user. Uh, and let's bring the user back. Uh, I kind of want to use another color on the user. Uh, let me see if I can get better looking number yeah this, this is now looks like a ghost but yeah you can see how much customization you can do and there's another thing in here there's a like a background in here that you can apply so if you don't want a background you can simply click that and then there is no background and now you can see the user have some sort of like a ghosting effect on top which is really cool and again if you don't like the pose effect feel free to delete it oops i delete that Feel free to delete it or what you can do again you can remove this and add the other post effect that you like so chromatic aberration why not it's kind of cool i'm gonna have like this look this is this is getting fun and a little bit of vignette so this is a look that i came up with it in a couple minutes so i recommend you to play around with the this value come up with the cool look and also at the same time try to browse this uh, subgraph that provided in each of these material and try to learn more about it and try to customize the inside of it to create more unique look. Uh, yeah, thank you all for looking and I uh, can't wait to see what you're coming up with. Thank you. Bye.